Hey, it's hot grease. That's where I came from two days ago. My lovely wife picked us up. Give us a zero. We're headed north. Come with me. All right, bye-bye. Hey, it's hot grease. It's on the 15th of August. Yeah, it's my wife's birthday and I left her in the car just then. Wow, that was hard to do. She deserves more, but I I'll take care of everything when I get home. Love you. Happy birthday. The Androscoggin River. I've seen this spot many a times. And lots of videos. We're headed north. We got in late the other night. Um, so we took a zero. Definitely deserved. We, uh, we needed it. We were beat. The whites took its toll. So I feel pretty good right now. And we're headed north. Uh, I think we have 16 or 17 to uh, to the border of New Hampshire and Maine. Whether we make it today or not, yeah, it depends on what the terrain is like and how we feel. So, wow. Almost to more and more state. Close. Well, look at that. It's that is uh, awesome. I'm getting ready to leave the state. And right there to the left a little bit. Wow. Mount Washington in the clouds. Beautiful. All right, everybody, let's head north. That's where I came from. I'm sitting up here taking a break on Mount Success. And... Uh, all of a sudden, I heard someone talking and a dog barking. And you're not going to believe who I ran into. My man, Hawk. What's hey, happened? there he is. Can you believe I'm standing right next to him? <laughs> this guy I followed for lots of miles. He's very entertaining. And if you're on his page, you know who he is. <laughs> and of course, the girl he's hiking with, Owlcat, and her dog, PR. They're headed north. They've been in front of us for a while. Uh, we finally caught them. They're I think what eagles. it did, they took a bunch of zeros. That's probably the only way we caught them. <laughs> Nero's and zeros. Nero's right? and zeros. Yeah. And of course, there's rerun, and we're headed north. Katahdin, here we come. Uh, I, I just my wife dropped us off earlier, and uh, that's probably the last time I'm going to see it before I summit. But uh, we feel great, and uh, thanks for coming along. I'm not patting myself on the back or giving myself any kudos. I'm just amazed at how far I've come. I'm at 1899.9. I'm one tenth from 1900 miles. And the more I think about this, the more I realize I'm not here alone. Without my wife, my family, and everybody supporting me, and my subscribers, all you on this channel, Believe me, you've helped me along. You've brought me along. You've encouraged me. You've motivated me. And I got 293.1 left. And uh, I'm going to give it everything I got. And I'm going to make it. Unless something bad happens. But I'm going to do my best to keep that from happening. I am... Uh, Feeling good. And on top of that, I just met Hawk. I know he probably doesn't think he's a legend, but guess what? He's a legend. And I met him on Mount Success. You could not have scripted that any better. And we've had a long talk together. He's a heck of... He's every bit of the guy that you see him on his channel. He, he's every bit of that guy in person. Wow. It was an honor to meet him. I'm hoping that we do a, a little accordion thing here so I could talk to him a little more. 
He's with Alcat and PR the dog. He's headed north too. And uh, Mount Katahdin, whether you know it or not, there's a bunch of us headed your way. All right, everyone. Thanks for following. Thanks for being there. And hun, I love you. Happy birthday again, sweetheart. Your support through the state of New Hampshire was priceless, along with everybody else who come. You know, Wayne and everybody who had offered, that wanted to help, that it's, uh, it's amazing. I'm rambling right now and my mind is, I'm trying to remember names and I can't and I'm sorry. Some of them people I want to mention, I can't because I'm rambling. <laughs> I'm not prepared to do this, but I'm trying. So I'm just about a little bit further and I'll be one tenth, I'll be 1900 miles. Well, all right, I told you, there you go, 293, yep, that's where I'm headed north, it feels good, it feels real good, all right, my mind will not kick into gear. So I apologize, it's that white hair. When my memory comes back, I'll turn this thing back on. Thanks to everybody, even though I didn't mention your name. I know who you are. All right, let's do this thing. All right, everyone. <laughs> I just did the old button. I must be getting tired, I don't know. I forgot the record button. So I just went through the whole spiel and went down to turn the record off. It never was on. <laughs> so I'm out here talking to myself in the woods. I'm sure all the gray squirrels and the red squirrels are laughing at me right now. All right, so back to that last clip and me making 1,900 miles. I th again, I'm thanking everybody that I need to thank that came to New Hampshire and just, wow, helped me out. Of course, that's my son and his wife, Allie and my grandkids, all of them came to see me and my grandson Joe hiked with me. It was a tough day and a half for him. Um, but yeah, I think he has an understanding of, of what we do out here. And uh, he's recovered just fine. He'll be hiking with me again. And of course, and then there's AJ, a guy that, wow, he's from Littleton, New Hampshire. We have corresponded by text and phone calls and, and stuff for seven, eight years. We've never met. <laughs> it's weird. It's just technology. He hunts deer down in, in Ohio when I do with bow. So we're both bow hunters. That's where I originally kind of met online. And uh, AJ's been offering to help me in so many different places. Because Littleton is, you know, Crawford Notch and, and Pinkham and Gorm and, and all that is pretty close to him. But unfortunately, my wife coming and doing such a tremendous job and, and another friend Wayne coming and, and all my other, my kids coming to Hanover and just wasn't time. And AJ, I appreciate the offer. I appreciate everything that you, that we talked about. Uh, one of these days, 
me and you are going to meet. <laughs> It'll be a great day. A day to celebrate, man. I appreciate you following along and commenting and your interest in me. Thanks again. And again, the rest of my subscribers. Thank you so much. Comments, whoa. Again, they all help me out. 293 left. Here we go. Hey, it's hot grease. I got a view. Some of the soup is lifted. It isn't a big view, but it's a view. Not a lot of sun. There's a little bit of sun shining through over there. Nothing over here. But this is where we're headed in that direction right there. Probably right up the top of that. All right. It's a little view, but it's a view. We're somewhere in New Hampshire soon within the next day to be in Maine. All right, everybody. Here we go. Hey, it's Hot Grease here. That's where I came from. The sun is pretty bright, but... Wow. That's what we got. On top of Mount Success. Well, we have 60 more feet, but I believe the summit is treed, so we would not have a view. But from this position, that's Mount Washington right there. And then just a bunch of beautiful mountains. We are less than three miles on the main border. That's the top of Mount Success right up there in that tree growth. First really good view of the day. The sun finally burned all the clouds and everything blew off, but for most of the day we were in the soup. It's been a heck of a day. All right, everyone. Hope you enjoyed it, because I did. For a different place to start. Yep. You need both hands. Yep. Oh, that's okay. I'd have got it for you. Yeah, uh huh. Show up. Thrown it the other way. Yeah. I think we need our knee pads. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, it's just that little section there. All right, my turn. Hey everybody, it's hot grease. Another milestone. It's amazing. Here we go. Look at that right there. New Hampshire Main State Line. Katahdin 282, Springer Mountain, Mountain 1908. I'm not sure if those numbers are exactly on because it changes every year, 
but it doesn't really matter. They're close. And as I normally do, I'm going to talk about New Hampshire and uh, what it was like for me. Of course, it's my home state, so that makes me a little biased. But I'm going to tell you, New Hampshire just kept giving and kept giving in beauty and kept giving in pain and kept giving in sweat. It was the toughest, toughest hiking I've been on the AT so far. Um, very rewarding. The views were tremendous. The, the people I met were awesome. Um, I was able to have my wife and family take care of me here. And uh, it was very enjoyable. I Right now, it's number one with me. But everybody says Maine is going to blow my mind. So my mind is open. I'm getting ready to step into Maine and, um, and see what Maine has to offer. If there's any negatives in New Hampshire right at all, I'm just going to say three letters, and I'm going to shut up. A-M-C. That's all I'm going to say. I know that's probably a little controversial, but from my experience, that would be the only negative at all. So, thank you, New Hampshire. I appreciate it. Here I come, Maine. Give me, give me your best, bud. All right, thank you. It's hot grease, everybody. That's where I came from. Again, we just come into Maine. I gave my kudos to New Hampshire. Now Maine's going to start earning it, and it looks like it's starting out right. Check that sun out right there. Holy moly, is that beautiful. And that valley, the clouds, and the sunshine on this side of this mountain right now. Wow. I haven't been in Maine 15 minutes, and look at it. It is gorgeous. All right. I got to get water, get to camp, go to sleep. Do it all again tomorrow. Thanks for coming along.